Hots Masonry, Gene Visky, Real Estate 6-6. Six, six. We'll start in position six, eight laps the distance. First of three with Soda Mod 4s. It is green flag with Luther Honda. Green flag out, we turn them loose and they're underway. The first of three, 19 F. Out of action in the inside and or win that lucky guess game with St. Cloud Toyota and Wild Country 99. And it's time to go green with Luther Honda. Green out, we're back underway once again as we try it all over in heat number one, the first out of three for mod fours. Kyle Fell at the end of one. Kyle Fell chased by Bryce Bjork in car number 6J. 19F Fuchs in that third spot, 76. Uh, Brandon Ferris in the top four. It's Essler in 11 and Forrest Foster in 6-6. Six, six. Fell starts to break away just a little bit from Bryce Birkin, but don't count the 6J car out quite yet because we're not even halfway. 19F Fuchs 11, Jerry Essler in the top four, all these cars moving into the feature. Flags crossed, do you see them right there? Yellow and green, and so does Kyle Fell in double O. Fell at the halfway point, Birkin 6J, about 12 car lengths back. A long ways back, you'll find Jerry Essler in 11, has moved his way to the top three. Essler in that third spot, 19 of, of Adam Fuchs in that fourth position. Every one of these going to the main. Double O, Fell. That is Kyle Fell rolling in for the flying green. That means two laps left to go. Pukes out of action at the base of turn number four. Flying green out. Oh, what's going to happen next? Zero. Kyle fell on the front point and green with Luther Honda. Green flag out. First of three tonight for the Mod Fours of Wasota. Kyle Fell continuing where he left off at the time of that last caution. White flag up. One more time. Fell on the final lap, working his way into corner number four. He has the checkers in sight. Kyle Fell, double zero, the winner. Bryce Bjork in six from Brainerd. It's Rod Berg in car 99R, and we're set to go. Green flag racing with Luther Honda. As they turn them loose, eight laps the distance. They work their way down the back chute on the first lap. Out front at the end of that first lap. It looks like it will be, in fact, 24, Dustin Ziski. Ziski with Mayovsky hot on the trail, about four car lengths behind, 42S, Adam Olson at 16. Josh Abrahamson has moved into the top four. All of these moving to the main event feature time for Mod 4s. Ziski out front from the beginning, set to throw down lap number three. 29 Mayowski in the second spot, about four car lengths behind. A good battle right now for three and four. Third and fourth position, Josh Abrahamson in the red number 16, trying to take it away from Olsen in 42R. They're side by side in turn three into the fourth corner at the halfway marker. It's all Dustin Ziski. Ziski starts to stretch out the advantage over Mayovsky in 29, 16. Josh Abrahamson has clearly made his move into the top three. 42R Adam Olson is next in 18. Dan Lorenzen in that 18 car and 99R Rod Berg moving up out of the Hornets. Six laps ready to go down, including the flying green flag. Two laps remaining. Two more to go for Dustin Ziski. Well on his way to victory tonight. 
with one lap to go, the white ready to fly this time by 29, Mayowski second, 16. Josh Abrahamson in third. The final circuit around Granite City Speedway. In the first out of three tonight for Wissota Mod Fours. Here comes your race long leader. And now winner, Dustin Ziski. Are sponsored by Centra Soda Sheet Metal and Keeler Stucco. And it's time to go green with Luther Honda. Third and final underway for the Mod Fours. They work their way around the final corner to complete lap number one. The battle surges out of the front straight away. It's 21, Chad Fund out front. M16, Mitch Rebar now going to work out of the base of turn two. Here they come, a battle for the race lead in three. 37, Dean Larson, he shoots the silver bullet in the top three as they come on through. A battle for that front spot. Mitch Rebar, your new leader, a half a car length ahead at the stand. 21, Chad Fun now tucks it right behind in the two spot, double zero T. Keith Thell has climbed up into the top three. And at the stand, just barely, you can count Keith Thell into the top two as he's got his sights set on the front runner. M16, Mitch Rebar. Flags are crossed. Yeah, you saw it halfway. At the halfway markers, it's Mitch Rebar and M16. Double zero T, Keith Thell in the top two, about three car lengths behind. 21, Chad Funt. And the Silver Bullet going to work out of turn four. Dean Larson just barely behind in position four. Out of the final corner, they're going to see the flying green right now. Mitch Rebar, M16, gets the two laps to go. Double zero T, here comes Keith Thell going to work in turn number three. They're side by side. Fell in the double zero T now gets the advantage out of the fourth corner. White flag up. One more time left. Keith Fell takes over the front spot on the next to the last lap. We're going to bring it in for the checkered flag. Who's going to come out of that fourth corner out front? You got it. Zero zero T. Keith Fell. M16 Mitch Routine F. It's Adam Fuchs inside row six. In the slats trucking, 42R, Adam Olson out of Wilmer on his outside from Piers. It is the dead end decals, number 21 of Chad Funt, row number 7. Brandon Ferris out of Moorhead in 76, Dan Lorenzen 18 from Wilmer. Brandon Lindquist in 3, Forrest Foster 6'6", six, six. Rodberg 99, Matt Everts 06, and Green. The Green with Luther Honda. scheduled and we turn them loose but we have a caution all right ready to go on the restart Dustin Ziski Josh Abrahamson green with Luther Honda on the restart they're back at it for 20 laps Mod 4 is the action heating up right out front. Ziski 24, 16. Abrahamson, here comes Josh in 16. Double OT, Keith Thell side by side. Rebar M16, 37. That is the silver bullet, Dean Larson. Larson in fifth, Bryce Birk in six, Jay in six. Then comes Kyle Thell and Jerry Essler in 11. trying to move forward a spot. He goes to the basement out of turn two. Gonna go to work out of turn three. Here he comes. <laughs> fell into the top two. Keith Fell gets by Abrahamson. The red 16 now goes down to third. 6'6", Forrest Foster got some smoke out the rear end of that car. 
Don't know how it's going to do the rest of this one, but we are still yonder green. Keith Thell now works the hub out of turn two. He's going to go after your leader, Dustin Ziski, 24. They're going to go side by side and just miss a car out of action. The 06 of Matt Everts in turn four. Everett's in the 06 car coming to phones, whatever it is, you keep track of things because you'll want to be here green with Luther Honda. On the restart, here goes Keith Thell and o double OT. Thell with Ziski side by side. Here comes Abrahamson in 16. They're three wide. for one, two, three, three wide for three, four, five, six, and almost seven. Wow, what a bunched up deal. Car out of action right in the front of the grandstand. 18, Lorenzen out of action. Going to park it right there. Not a good parking spot, but maybe he's just sitting there momentarily because, yep, here he comes back out on the track. Abrahamson, 16, fell, double zero T, says the scoreboard. Now we're going to look for it, and that's the way they are. 24 is Hiskey, your race leader up to that point. Third, 6G. Bryce Bjorken out of Felton, but wow, we got action in front of the grandstand once again. They're going to keep it going. Look out, race fans. Here comes the leaders. Forrest Foster, 6'6", six, six, looped it right in front of the rest, but wow, we're still going green. Blue and yellow flag, you see it right now to Lorenzen in the 11 and 6-6 six, six Foster, letting them know the leaders are coming, and they're side by side. Dell Abrahamson now running 1-2 as they try to navigate the traffic at the back. Bryce Birkin, 6-G in the top three. Double O, Kyle fell in fourth. Ziski, 24 in fifth. The 37 car, Silver Bullet in sixth. Stretched all the way around him. He fell your leader, 13 complete. It's time to go green with Luther Honda. Back underway on the restart. They're headed down the back chute. 16, Rebar in the M16 car had the caution out last time, having a little trouble, but he's at the tail. Looks like he's got it fired up. Double OT, Keith Thell, your leader, 16, Abrahamson, 6J. Of Bryce Bierken having at it out of turn four. Lindquist in car three now finds himself in a battle for position four. Kyle Fell, double zero, just barely in front of that. Ziski, 24, and Dean Larson having a battle in turn number four. 06 Everett spins in turn four. Your second place car, Abrahamson, the red 16, had the choice of high or low. He staked it up high once again. It's green with Luther Honda. On the restart, we turn them loose once again. The mod fours up with Soda flying around this racetrack as they are usually. Some of the quickest cars around the racetrack. You wouldn't believe it, four cylinders, but they are one of the fastest here on the racetrack. Green flag ready to fly this time by. Who sees it first? Keith Fell, double zero T. Two more laps to go. One, two, three. You'll find Fell, Yurkin, Abrahamson, Fell in fourth, white flag up. One last round. The final trip around the track now or never because here comes Bryce Bierken in 6J. Going to go to work out of turn number four. Here they come to the checkered flag. The doubles are up. They're going to wave. Who's got it? Keith 
fell. Lane with the Napa know-how after winning the Mod 4 feature. Double zero T. Keith Thell started in position number six. He ended up the victor tonight. We'll get him out of the car for the trophy presentation. Coming up next onto the racetrack, the first of two feature events for the NVSR Northern Vintage Stock Car Racers. So they'll be up next, bringing you back in the history of dirt track racing tonight at Granite City Speedway. The winner of the Mod 4 feature unbuckling. Helmet coming off. He's getting ready to hop out of the race car in just a couple seconds. There he is, fans. Put your hands together for Keith Fell in double zero T.